Okay, so we're going to move along here for uh, part four of this tutorial. Uh, if you rem recall from the last time, we had um, our interface here where we uh, have cards for the computer and your card. And if you hit deal, you get a new set of cards. And if we get a tie for the card value, it should get a, an alert that pops up. If I can just get one to tie. Yeah. So, oh, there we go. All right. So what we want to do is progress this now, where when I hit dismiss here, it starts dealing cards. And if you remember the game award, you should get three cards. Um, and then uh, the fourth card dealt um, should be... Um, the one that decides whether you win all the cards, those three cards before that were dealt. Traditionally, they're dealt face down the first three cards, and then the fourth card is up. Um, but we're going to, uh, we're just going to show them all so you see what cards you're winning. All right. So um, this is really not too hard. Let's, uh, we're going to use an NS timer to kind of slowly deal the cards. Um, I'm going to paste in some code here and then go over what I did. So you're in your um, deal card method. Remember, this is IB action that gets um, activated every time you hit the deal card um, button on the, on the screen. So from the, at the end here, we're going to um, call this method called war now. So we have a war now. Um, and we're doing this inside this if statement when my value is equal to the computer's value. That's what mval and cval. We had done this last time. We got the alert that pops up. So now we're going to progress this. We're going to call this method called war now. What you see, that's right here, this method. I'll zoom in here a little bit. And that method war now is, um, this is actually, uh, it sets an NS timer. I just have a printout to make sure this was working. Um, and we create an, a timer um, that is 1.5 seconds. And so, but the, the key here is that I have this so that um, its repeats are false. So it does not repeat. And I'll show you how we make it kind of repeat just four times. So it's going to wait 1.5 seconds and then call this deal war method, which is right below here. And as always, I'm going to put this code in the description of the YouTube video. Um, so look below for that. So anyway, I have this in the deal war method, I have this um, variable XX that just increments um, each time we call this method. Uh, I declared that up here. It's just a simple integer, it starts out equal to zero. Okay. And the code that you see right here is almost identical to what we have up here when we press our deal card. Because basically we're replicating that. We really should make a, a sub method and put that code in there and just call it from both spots. Anytime you replicate code, you should create a method. Um, but for the sake of this, I'm going to um, leave it as is. So I, we do the same thing where we create two random numbers from our deck of 52 cards. Um, then we go ahead and save that into our card variable. And then we go ahead and display that right here. Um, uh, and then we do that for you and the computer, okay? And then we add that to the um, view, right? And then we go ahead and show the actual value as well. So we do both of them. Um, let me see what else. So then, so then we do this thing. We're checking to see how many times we've incremented that XX value. Uh, if it's less than four, we're going to keep on calling this NS timer. So it goes back up here, waits another second and a half, and comes in and deals another card. And then the fourth card, it's no longer going to go in here. It's going to go to the else part. And this is where we calculate the value for your card and the computer card. And we then set XX back to zero so that the next time we have war, um, it'll be back at zero. And then we do the comparison, very similar to how we did it up above. Um, to see if we get war again, because that is possible that they are equal to each other, so then we got to go back and start this process over again. But um, otherwise, we look to see if the computer's value is greater than yours. If it is, then we just simply show an alert to the screen that says computer wins. 
Um, if it is not, that's the only other option, then you win. Um, so that's all for, for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to make it so that um, you uh, so that the alert that comes up, because you'll see how it kind of works, um, is such an alert, a little more complicated alert, so that it, it doesn't start doing anything else until you hit OK. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. Um, and also, the, the key thing that we have to do next is we want to start saving the cards that have been won by you and or the computer so that after 52 cards are dealt, we can declare a winner. Okay. Um, so for, for right now, let's see how this code worked out for us. So I'm going to uh, run this in the emulator and hit deal until we get uh, more. Oh, there we go. So you see it is dealing the cards now even before I hit dismiss. I'd rather it wait. That's what I was talking about. Oh, um, I got a king. The computer got a queen. So uh, we won. You won. All right. So we can hit dismiss, and then you kind of just start all over again. So that works pretty nice. Um, the, like I said, the key thing to do next is to keep track of where we are, and probably maybe we'll have another label that says, you know, we're into the 26 card have been dealt. Um, and then once we go through the whole deck, we declare a winner, and you decide whether you want to play again from that point on. Um, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions, and as always, subscribe. Thanks.